Hi everyone, my name is Eitan Miller and welcome to the Industry Training Series. I am the Equipment Manager here at NBS and today we're going to be talking about Cinema Lens Protocol. So here with us today we have the Zeiss Zoom 21-100, it's a PL mount lens. Now there are two main types of lenses you will see most commonly on cinema cameras. That is EF mount and PL mount. EF mount, that's the type of lens mount you're going to see on any Canon DSLR. But the most professional lens mount is the PL mount and that's developed by ARI. PL stands for positive lock. And what you do is you line up the lens in the lens mount and then you twist to make sure that the lens goes in. And I will show you an example of that um, in a coming episode with this lens. So we're gonna take it out. One thing to note with Pelican cases like this, whenever you're walking away from a Pelican for any reason, even if it's just you're building camera, you need to take a step away, you always wanna close it and lock at least one latch. If you're going to be leaving it for a long time, you definitely always should lock both latches. And if you're going to be transporting it, both latches. But even if you're just stepping away from the case, you always want to have one latch locked. Um, and the reason for that is if someone bumps it or something like that, you don't want anything happening to um, a lens this expensive. So we really only have two things in this case. We have this lens support which um, I'll be demonstrating how to put on the camera. And that is because this is a heavier, longer lens, and that can be a lot of pressure on the lens mount where the lens is sitting. And it can actually damage the lens mount if there's not extra support. So sometimes you're gonna need one of these, sometimes you're not, um, but that's what it is. And then we have the lens. So here it is, um, we have the lens cap right here. And if you are a second AC running to grab a lens for a DP, you're gonna leave the lens cap in here. You're also gonna leave the rear cap here. Now you're gonna cup your hand and you're gonna hold it like this. So when you hand it to a first AC when you're changing lenses, you're gonna hand it like this. They're gonna grab it with their bottom hand and then reach their other hand around the side and say, got it. You do not want to let go of that lens until you hear got it. Um, because this is not a thing you want to drop. Likewise, when you're taking the old lens that's being switched out from the first AC, you're going to grab it, you're going to hold it, and you're going to say, got it, uh, before that person lets go. And then you're going to bring it back to the lens case, you're going to twist on the cap, put this back on, um, and then you're good to go. If you're storing lenses, you always want to make sure that they are focused uh, to infinity and that the aperture is wide open. The reason for that is because when someone looks at a camera right when a lens has been switched, they want to be able to see something. And if it's focused to infinity, even if what you're seeing is not perfectly in focus, you're going to be able to see what's going on. Likewise, if your aperture is open all the way, the worst thing that could happen is it would be too bright. Versus the alternative, if your aperture is all the way closed down, uh, the director might look just right after the lens has been put on and be like, what's the problem? What's going on? So that's just um, an, a way that you want to make sure everything's running smoothly. Also, if you do know what aperture you've been shooting at, a nice thing to do if you're a second AC is set the lens to that aperture instead of just wide open. Um, and, and bring that to set, and that will just make life easier for your DP. Um, so when it comes to cleaning lenses, what you need to do is you might see that the front element of the lens gets dirty. And so the first thing you're gonna try is you're gonna get what's called a rocket blower, and I don't have one here today, but it's just, a, it pumps air out, and you're gonna wanna do that at an angle, um, so any dust flies off. And if that's not enough, then the next step you're gonna do is get a wipe and get some spray. And so I'm gonna put this down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wipe and you're gonna fold it. Then you're gonna take your spray and you're gonna just give it a light little spray. Um, then I like to fold it again so that you're not touching the piece that you're wiping with. You're gripping it, you're pinching it from the side. And then you're just gonna carefully work from the inside out to the lens. And so this is gonna push all of the dust, any fingerprints, any elements you can't otherwise get off with just a little blower, um, like that. And so the lens looks pretty good. You don't want to reuse these wipes. Um, when you're done with them, throw them out. And so then you're just gonna put the lens cap back on. Um, and that's, uh, that's that. So thank you everyone for watching the first episode. In the next episode, we're gonna start our build with the Canon C300 Mark II and get everything set up. So tune in next time. Thank you.